In this tutorial, we're going to talk about some hidden transitions and effects in Adobe Premiere Pro that you probably never think to use that can add some real spice and flair to your videos really quickly and easily. What's going on? My name is Peter Sorellis. I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada. I specialize in sports videography. And today we're going to be looking at some footage that I filmed for the PWHL's Toronto team in a project with Barbie. It was a really fun project. Shout out to them for bringing me on. And I think that the league is doing some great stuff, but we're going to be using this footage today to talk about what you're here for, which is some effects and transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro that you probably never think to use. And they're kind of hidden away, but can be really cool. Now let's get into the effects panel here. And we want to start by searching VR. This is going to give us a list of virtual reality effects that are meant to be used in your editing videos for those VR goggles that everyone seems to be wearing nowadays. And the first one that we're gonna grab here is VR Chroma Leaks. So let's find that right over here under video transitions. We're gonna drop this and we can immediately see what it does. It's very chromatic, it's very glowy. I may need to drop the resolution of our playback to actually make this go in real time, but we're gonna give it a try. And that's what that transition looks like just out of the box. Something you wouldn't ever really think to use. But you can adjust the horizontal strength and the vertical strength. You can change the angle and the brightness and the saturation of everything and blend it into your footage. So now let's say we want the horizontal strength to be a little bit lower and instead we want to use some vertical leaks. Now we're going to get this effect, but the leaks, as you can see, are going up and down, not side to side. And let's say that we want this to be a little bit less bright so that we can see the dissolve a little bit more as it, we go through here. And you can actually see the next clip a little bit more. Maybe we want the saturation to be turned up. So rather than a white flash, it takes on the colors in our clips and we'll leave it at that. Now when we play this through, it looks totally different and kind of blends in better with your clip. You can even make this nice and short for a little bit of a flashy effect. Think something you could use in like a music video, just a quick little hit. And overall, it's just super customizable. And I think this is just a lot of fun to have access to. I wouldn't worry about these auto VR properties unless you're editing with the VR headset and we're not doing that obviously. But super cool effect to have in your bag. And if you wanna add a little extra to it, you can grab an adjustment layer and throw it over top of your effect. Let's make this a little bit longer for the purpose of this demo and then get the adjustment layer cut down to the size of your transition and then grab the VR glow, which is a super easy way to create glows inside of Premiere Pro. So we can go to our VR chroma leaks. You can turn the saturation all the way up to make sure that you're actually getting the color of your clip. Then you can go to the glow. Now we're going to put our Luma threshold with a keyframe right in the middle where these two clips cut. We can set this to be as strong or as weak as we like. Let's go 0.95. You can see what that looks like, just a little bit of a glow. Maybe we want the radius to be a little bit wider. And now let's set the Luma threshold to one and drag that to one end. And then Command C to copy, Command V to paste and drag that to the other end of the adjustment layer. Select all of these right click and go easy ease in and ease out now when you go through you have the chroma leaks and a glow flash to add a little bit of extra brightness but what this also does is it allows you to customize the color in any way you want because you can now check this box under vr glow this is use tint color and then change this color to be anything you want so if i were to say want some red in here i could go down to red grab it and now we're getting a little bit of red. Obviously the stronger the VR glow effect, the more of the color is going to shine through. For example, when I bring this glow to zero, now you can see that basically anything that's not white is turning red, where when I have this at 0.9, you're not getting a whole lot of that red shining through, just a little bit right here. But it's a good way to control the colors in your transition and add a little extra flash. So when you play this through now, it looks something like that. You can see the red color that we've selected 
and we get our clip. You can make these fast, you can make these slow. They're super customizable and they're built into Premiere Pro, but hidden under the VR section that you probably never use. For the next effect, we're gonna be working with these two shots here. So I have a medium shot and a tight shot of essentially the same action from the same player. And these shots were actually filmed by my friend Neville who came along and worked this project with me. He did a great job, super happy to have him out. Footage looked awesome, couldn't have asked for anything better. So yeah, shout out to him. I'm gonna link his Instagram so you can go check his work out if you want. But I've cut these two shots that he filmed into this simple sequence going in and out. And we're going to add some transitions to kind of spice it up. So first let's grab an adjustment layer. And if you don't have an adjustment layer already made, you can click on this new item icon right here and click adjustment layer. Make sure that your resolution is correct and your frame rate and then click okay. And you'll get an adjustment layer. You can grab it and drag it on. And now all the effects that you apply to this adjustment layer are going to affect all the clips below it. So we're gonna set this adjustment layer to be quite short. Let's just set it so that we have one, two, three frames on each side of the cut. One, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. And let's put a marker in the middle. And now we're going to grab the VR digital glitch effect. And before this effect existed, it was a real pain to say the least to create these types of glitches in Premiere Pro. But as you can see, just by dropping it on, this effect has worked wonders for me. And especially here, when you have a player wearing all black on a white background, this effect really shines and brings a lot of emphasis to the player. So we're actually just gonna take our VR digital glitch properties and just toggle the master amplitude. We'll put this from 100 down to zero, copy that, paste it, easy ease all of these. And this is your six frame transition. A nice glitch, you have a little bit of distortion, you have a little bit of RGB, and because of the way you've shot these clips, it's just affecting the player. I actually would probably color grade this for the whites to pop a little bit more. I think that would make the transition a little better. And let's crush the blacks. And we'll copy that newly tweaked LUT over to our other clip from the same camera. Now let's drag the same adjustment lever holding option and dragging. We'll make sure that our marker lands on this cut so that it's centered underneath our last clip and our next one. And we're going to make some adjustments to this. So we can leave our master amplitude so that it goes from nothing to fully on to nothing again. But now we can make adjustments at this point to make sure that the effects that we're using within the VR digital glitch effect are different and as we like. So we can get rid of the geometry distortion, which is these like blocky bits. You can make it more, but we can also just make it less. And I think it's better not existing. We can get rid of the complexity to make that all gone. And now we just have an RGB glitch, which is this color distortion. And the color distortion can go from 100 down to zero. Maybe we leave it at 20. And then you just get this tiny little RGB glitch, which actually in retrospect with no other effects isn't really enough. So let's put this at 60 and get a bit of a heavier RGB glitch. And that gives us that, just a little flash. You also have the option to adjust where the RGB glitch sits relative to the player. So the color evolution, you can move it to put the RGB glitch more on one side or more on the other side. And let's actually turn our color distortion up even higher. Like let's really make this stand out. And that looks like this. Just a little flash. If you want, you can even extend this to be a little bit longer. And you can open the master amplitude properties if you want and adjust your curve to bring the strong glitch in a little bit sooner. There you go. Simple RGB glitch. And then for the last one, we'll drag this over again. And this time, let's really lean into this distortion. So open our distortion again, and we're going to do geometry distortion X and Y, not Z. We are not working in 3D space. I don't think that's necessary. We can bring the complexity up to make it a little bit more grainy. Maybe we just get rid of the color distortion and just use this type of thing. Now, I don't love the, uh, you know, the lines you get at the top and the bottom of these VR effects, but I don't think it's that bad all in all. And that just looks like this. 
this VR digital glitch effect gives you a really easy way to add geometry distortion and RGB glitches and color distortion to your clips really easily as a drag and drop effect in Premiere Pro, which for a long time didn't exist and was super tedious to go and create. Finally, we're gonna be working with these two clips right here, and we're gonna create a transition between them. Obviously not um, an ideal clip. I didn't have a shot of this player scoring, so we're using this snipe over the goalie shoulder and off the crossbar. Also, shout out to hockey for being like the best sport to film lighting wise. There's just white everywhere. The light is bouncing off everything and it always looks so good. But the effect that I want to grab here is called VR light leaks. We're going to drop that on. And you can see just when we play this back, it looks like this, which is a cool little multicolor hit, but this isn't nearly as cool as this effect gets. So let's drag it out to be a little bit longer. This is a 20 frame transition, which looks like this. A cool slow like multicolored type of hit, but we can actually change the hue of this to be, let's say light blue, which is this team's color. And now it looks something like this. Maybe we don't want this green at the start and maybe we don't want this purple at the end. So we can contract the leak spectrum width so that we have less hues involved from the start of our transition to the end of it. So let's bring this down to say 15. And again, we have to tweak the leak base hue to get our blue that we like right there. If you want, we can also change the exposure. You can make this into basically a white flash if that's what you want to do. And it just has a bit of your hue at the start and at the end, but it's a white flash in the middle but I don't like that that much. Let's bring it down to like 20. You can change the leak intensity from zero, which means that the effect is basically off to hundred, which is where we had it. You can change the dissolve length if you want. And I wouldn't worry about any of these because they're kind of just made for VR. You can see rotation angle does a bit of, if I can get to the right part of my footage here, rotation angle can do a bit of abstract stuff that like that. If you have your leak spectrum width high enough, but it's not really necessary to do something like that in my opinion. Remember these are just made for VR, which means that not everything in them is necessarily going to be applicable for what we're doing. But with those simple tweaks, we end up getting a really cool effect that looks like this. Anyways, I hope this video helped you and gave you some new ideas for transitions and effects that you can add to your videos. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel because I post videography and video editing tips and tutorial videos similar to this one on a regular basis. And I'd love to have you around for that. If you have any other cool hidden effects in Premiere Pro that you'd like to use, drop them in the comment section. I would love to learn from you guys and hear some of the editing tricks and tips that you might have so that we can all become better editors together. Anyways, that's going to be all for this week. So until next time, peace. Also, it's 1 a.m. right now on a Monday. I need to go to bed. It is time to wrap this up.